It's early morning in Bolivia's Caranavi region, about 160 kilometers north of La Paz. Special forces are targeting illegal coca plantations here, the leaves that are grown to make cocaine. No está limpio, ¿para qué? You see here, the field hasn't been cleaned for one reason, so that we can't see the coca plants. That's why there are shrubs and weeds. And in the middle, there, there is the coca. All of that is coca. But from far away, you can't see a thing. This coca field belongs to Elizabeth. It's not the first time authorities have ripped up her coca plants. The government's promise to improve major roads and basic services if villagers stopped growing coca illegally. But Elizabeth claims they have not kept their word. They had promised me everything. They had said they would give me electricity, but they didn't keep their promises. Here I had 2,500 square meters of coca. I also had some over there and in front. I didn't agree with eradication because our God has always supplied us with coca. To chew, of course. Bolivia ripped up 5,000 hectares of illegal coca in 2007. Last year it pulled out almost twice that amount. 12,000 hectares are set aside for legal coca agriculture for traditional usage. But the United Nations claims there may be up to 30,000 hectares here. You finish wiping them out, and when you come back, barely a month later, the coca has been replanted. The population here don't know about our government's mission to cut illegal coca production to zero. Mario cultivates his coca legally in the tropical Yungas. With five to six harvests each year, he makes 300 euros every two months for the sacred leaf. The indigenous people have chewed coca for centuries to help them against altitude sickness, hunger, and fatigue. He says he's grateful to Bolivian President Evo Morales, a former coca producer himself, for supporting legal cultivation. He's our ally. He comes to visit us often. It's the first time a president has actually come to see us. With this president, we feel calm, happy, and proud. Despite the organized destruction of coca plantations in Bolivia, according to the UN, illegal cultivation of the plant has grown 22 percent since Evo Morales came to office, placing Bolivia on America's blacklist of countries not doing enough to tackle production of the drug. That's our story from Bogota. I'm Brian Andrews reporting.